Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go through the steps that you need to find the equation for the line of best fit or linear regression line with the TI-84 graphing calculator. We're gonna look at this problem here. During a three hour period spent outside, a person recorded the temperature and their water consumption. The experiment was conducted on seven randomly selected days during the summer. And our data is recorded here in the table. The temperatures are going to be the x values in our equation, and the water consumption is going to be the y values in our equation. The first thing you're going to do is click on the link to get to the TI-84 graphing calculator. This link is in this week's folder on Schoology, it's also in additional resources, and it's in every problem on the homework assignment that you'll need the graphing calculator for. So it's in a lot of different places. When I click on the link, the first thing I have to do is I have to click the start button twice. Then after it loads, you go ahead and you click on the calculator icon there at the top. And that will open the calculator. Now that I have my calculator open, the first thing I need to do is I need to turn the diagnostics on. This is what's going to allow me to get the correlation coefficient. So to get that done, you click the second button and then the zero key and that brings you to the catalog. We need to arrow down until we get to diagnostic on. A shortcut to get to the D's faster is you can click the green alpha button and then the D is right here. So alpha, D, and now I'm in the D's and now I don't have to scroll quite as far. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find diagnostic on. There it is right there. So once my cursor is lined up with diagnostic on, I'm going to hit enter, then hit enter again, and once my screen says done, I'm good to go. Now we need to go ahead and enter our data in the stat menu. So you click this button here that says stat, you choose edit by clicking enter, and then you're going to go ahead and enter your x values in list 1 and your y values in list 2. If there were any numbers inside your list and you needed to clear the list before you put your numbers in, you can just arrow up to the list name L1, click clear and enter, and that will clear the whole list. Same thing for list 2. If there's numbers in list 2, just arrow up to list 2, click clear, then enter, and that will clear your whole list. After each number, you just click the enter key and that's what saves it. Once you've entered all your x values, you're going to arrow over to list 2 and then you're going to enter your y values. 25, enter, 32, 20, 27, 48, 48, then 16. After you've entered all your data, just double check to make sure that you've typed each number correctly. And if you make any mistakes, you can just arrow up to the number that you typed wrong and change this, just that number. It looks like I typed everything correctly. So now I'm ready to get my equation. To do that, I hit the stat button again. I arrow over to calculate, and then I choose linear regression, which is number four. Click enter. And then I need to keep clicking enter until I get down to calculate, click enter again, and now my screen will show this. The A value is the number that goes in front of X. You can see here it's 1.451. And then our B value goes at the end, which is negative 96.845. I want you to round those to three decimal places. That means our equation becomes Y equals 1.451X minus 96.845. The correlation value is the R on the bottom of the screen. So here we can see that our correlation is R equals 0 0.963. Follow those steps for any time you need to calculate the linear regression equation or the correlation coefficient for a set of data. If you absolutely cannot make the TI-84 plus calculator work on your iPad, there is a separate video on Schoology called Finding Line of Best Fit with Desmos, which will show you how to find this on Desmos. 
but I do want you to use the TI-84 calculator. Desmos should only be your backup if you absolutely cannot make the TI-84 calculator work. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.